Let's try and not blow up over this. Okay. Hey ladies and gents, it's KJ Peanuts, and I have been wanting to report on stuff like this for a while. It has just been released, Spider-Man Far From Home. I could not get through the first 20 seconds of the trailer. If you don't know, I absolutely hate Tom Holland's portrayal as Spider-Man. And I hate Spider-Man Homecoming with a passion. We're going to watch the trailer that has just been released five hours ago, according to the time schedule. And I'm going to give my in-depth review on why I so despise this. Let's give it a watch. Okay, yep. See, right off the bat, we're back with the old... We're back with the, the frickin' the techno costume that is what Tony Stark has get. The, it is, we are back to Batman Beyond, people. Thank you, Spider-Man. Okay. That was so good. Okay, no. See, look. Look at this. Look at... Did you, did you see... Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, hall, okay, there's a homeless shelter. Aunt May, hope, well, Aunt May works for a homeless shelter. Not so bad. Pretty good, right? But let's Thank take a look. Look at Aunt May. Do you see how young that is? If we're supposed to make Spider-Man younger, we could not make Aunt May younger as well. Oh, oh no. Okay. And, okay, that's one That's one problem. That's, that's, that's my main problem. But another one. Look, do you see what's wrong with that? She knows Peter's identity. Yes. Yes, it is real. It is really happening. I am so pissed off at that. The Amazing Spider-Man didn't do that. They teased it a little bit, but they didn't do that. The, the, the Sam Raimi ones, they didn't do that. But I'm sure Aunt May could have gotten a clue. But at the end of this stupid movie, Spider-Man has supposed to be, Spider-Man's supposed to have responsibilities, right? What's the first thing that he doesn't do when he sees that he got his costume back from Tony Stark? Doesn't close the door! What the f And that's how we end the movie, with Aunt May knowing that Peter was Spider-Man. I would have accepted the fact that Tony Stark maybe would have given him a costume, if you will, like... If he was a big fan of Spider-Man, and then Peter could have wrote it off as like, No, Tony Stark gave me this costume because uh, I really like Spider-Man. But, having Aunt May know that Peter is Spider-Man, no, you cannot do that. Spider-Man! Spider you can- That was so good. No. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Uh-uh. This is this is where I paused it. This is this is where I paused it when I was watching it. You cannot make Aunt May so freaking young and have her flirt with people. Tony Stark flirted with the idea that hey, your aunt, your aunt's pretty hot. Just kidding. Now you're having John Favreau do that? No. No, no, no. New dress? Yes, it is. How would you know? <laughs> Mm-mm. No. I can't. <laughs> it hurts to watch. I hate it so much. And if you notice that the video is getting grainy, I don't have the time to let it sink out. If you want to watch the trailer for yourself, then go ahead. But I'm not even giving it a chance to even sync up the picture. What just happened? That's the first proper question that Peter has actually asked throughout any of his time being Spider-Man. Tom Holland has asked one good question. What the hell was that? He was thinking exactly what he was thinking when the director thought, yeah, this is a pretty good idea. May I can't May younger. Yeah. Hey, John Favreau, do you want to bang at May? Planning a trip? Mm hmm Going to Europe. It's a school trip. The guy that was originally owning that convenience store, didn't it blow up? Why is it back to normal now? How long, how long ago? How long of a gap is there? And by the way, isn't Spider-Man supposed to be dead? I hate all the Marvel movies and I have not seen any of them except for Venom? 
and Spider-Man Homecoming. I love Venom because he's not an MCU character. He's not an MCU movie. It's not an MCU movie. I love the movie. I love Tom Holland. But I hate all the MCU movies because Marvel has sold his soul to Disney. That is the number one reason why I have never watched any of the other Marvel movies. Oh, okay. I have I've, I have seen Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I actually like Paul Rudd's uh, portrayal as Ant-Man. But this is not how to make a movie. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighbor. Where is he going? Did he say Europe? He's not packing a suit? Okay, no, okay, no, 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 no. Peter, if you are going to pack a suit, I suggest your homemade one. As much as I hate the design of it, uh-uh, pack the old one. You are Spider-Man if you are the, if you're wearing the old costume, if you're wearing the techno suit, Mm, no. Why this guy is not Spider-Man. Two specific reasons. The suit and that suit. Two interpretations of Peter Parker have been showing that Peter Parker has artistic skill. He can make his own suit. Twice. Okay, the, 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 the second guy made it twice. But, the first guy made it once. But they showed that, that they had artistic skill. This guy wears sweats? And a ski mask. <laughs> For how laughable it is, I accept that suit because it makes him Spider-Man. He is not getting help from any techno shit whatsoever. Mm -mm, no, see. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back for a second. Let us go back for one second. You see that thing right there? You see this little face? If you've seen Spider-Man: Homecoming, who is that? No, it is not. No, it is not. That is an outcast. That is a... Okay. That is someone who is from Disney, started smoking pot, and just started showing up on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming. And then the director said, yeah, let's just, let's just put her in. And then she said, I'm MJ. Totally... It, no, blackwashing. You look really pretty. Therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not. I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> oh my gosh! No! You can have a relationship with MJ, but that is not MJ. You look pretty too. Oh. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, dude. That reminds me of when I first fell in love. I had just finished my phone call. Ned? Ned? What the hell just happened? So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. What a fucking dick. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he gonna be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. And take the needle out of his neck, you dick. <laughs> no, he packed the new suit. No. Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Oh my! Awesome. No, he's not awesome. We got gifts, Parker, but we have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? Alone. Your friends are in trouble. No, oh, he got another new suit. No, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. As a Spider-Man fan, a slight one, as a comic book reader, that hurts so much in my heart. You have ruined Spider-Man. What are you gonna do about it? Who's that? Who is that? Jake Gyllenhaal? What are you doing in this universe? You don't want any part of this. Oh 
Oh, no. What? No. He is not Mysterio. He is not Mysterio. They did not just pull that. They did not just pull that out of their ass and say, yep, he's the one. No. I love Jake Gyllenhaal, but you do not cast him in such a piece of shit. You... <laughs> Can we stop putting home in the title of our Spider-Man movies now? Please. It hurts. Who is that guy? He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. No, no, see, another problem. This guy's not Flash Thompson. This is just a guy with a small penis. I'm not kidding. Two interpretations of Spider-Man had Flash right. He was violent and vulgar. And then he lost his legs in the war, and then got the symbiote, and became uh, a, a Venom, per, a Venom uh, personality. But, I cannot imagine this guy going to war. Actually, I would believe it. This guy would lose his legs pretty easily. But I would not believe for one second that this guy is Flash Thompson. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. What's up, dickwad? This guy's a this guy's a social outcast with a small dick. I can't sit through this without talking about it. No. No. Nope. I'm going to let you on a little secret here, Disney. You have ruined Spider-Man. You have ruined every single superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You have done nothing right. I hate all your movies. Disney fuck off. <laughs> if anyone hates me because I hate this movie, because I hate the Spider-Man that they have, I don't care. <laughs> we have a... We have... We have a definitive Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield. He's funny. He knows how to be Spider-Man. He has responsibilities. Yes, in the second movie, I know his faults, and I know that people hate the second movie so much, but... I like the pacing. The pacing is alright. The movie's good. I know it's faults. I know it's faults of both movies. I know the faults of all. But this has so many faults. This has so many insults towards being Spider-Man. The suit is the number one insult that makes Spider-Man Spider-Man. He is not Iron Man or Batman Beyond. No. And especially with its cons inconsistency of storyline, he's supposed to be dead, isn't he? Why are they making another movie? And where the hell is Tony Stark? If Tony Stark is supposed to be his fucking... He, he... I can't talk about this anymore. Oh gosh, it hurts so much. I am barely putting in effort to edit this. I will do an in-depth review on why I hate Spider-Man Homecoming so much later in the future, but I am not going to sit through this movie. That is the one thing I won't do. If I have the displeasure of sitting through it, just like I did The Quiet Man in the first movie of this guy being spy, I, uh, I will do my in-depth review on that. But if any of you guys agree with me, that I know that there's a lot of people that agree with me with this guy not being Spider-Man for a lot of reasons. But I am probably the only person in the world who absolutely hates Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I am probably the only person in the world who actually hates this guy. They say that this guy is not a social... They, they say this guy has his nerdy moments and he's a social outcast. No, he is not. Tobey Maguire is the social outcast. Andrew Garfield, not so much a social outcast, but he has his social anxiety. He has his socially awkward moments. This guy is not socially awkward whatsoever. I don't believe it for one second. I am done. <laughs> it is not to be done. Okay. If you guys would like to follow me or hit the dislike button, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hit the list. Hit the dislike button. I want to see how many people's attention I got. I want to see how many people I pissed off in the comments. Have a <laughs> have a good day. I am so done.